Ladies and gents, welcome to another exciting episode of 263. I hope you all came wherever you are. It's another brilliant day. Today's topic, guys, it's about this issue we kunzi because we don't bath and we don't use raw on in South Africa. Uh, it's quite a sensitive issue, if I may, to be honest, because at the end of the day, it's stereotyping and it dehumanize certain people, certain group of people. And there's an element of hate uh, where these uh, kind of stereotypes animate. Uh, but the most contradicting part and the most controversial part is now this issue was being raised by a Zimbabwe, which actually shook me because I wasn't expecting to hear a Zimbabwe say these things. So we want to know that Q Dube is it telling the truth? Is it just a comedy, which is dark humor, which I love, I love dark humor. And is it just content, content, or he's mislead, or he's lost, or he's trying to get South Africans to like him, he's trying to market himself to the South African uh, market, uh, which way he's living right now. So let's watch the video and try to understand, to try to break down the video. We want to watch the video now. I think like a Zimbabwean, so I always oh, run. Like it I always, quick. I always okay, I'm run. Gonna run it back. <laughs> no, you know, if he is smelling yeah, you... like a Zimbabwean, so I always oh, run. Like it I always, quick. I always bust. Wow. <laughs> okay. Firstly, his first sentence, that's, there's something wrong if you go deeper into that sentence. He's saying his fear is to smell like a Zimbabwean, which means he's trying to say that, uh, he said his fear is smelling like his Zimbabwe. That's why he always bad. So he's trying to say that Zimbabweans are the only people who have a, who have a bad smell if they don't bath, which is actually stereotyping because anyone in the world, if they don't bath, they will smell. Being it white, yellow, blue, black, they will smell. Being it Chinese, being it African, being it European, if you don't bath for certain days, you will smell and also sometimes if you work in certain industries where you sweat a lot like construction all the hard labors at the end of the day that smell if it stays on your body at the end of the day you're gonna smell that's naturally human mechanism there's nothing you can do about that whether you buy Raw on or you spray a lot of perfume. If you are working in construction, if you are working in, in, in agriculture where you do hard labor, at the end of the day, you're going to be smelly. That's being human. So saying this, that uh, all Zimbabwe smells bad when, when they don't bath, that's actually totally upset and wrong. And it's, it's this kind of stereotype that are uh, they in our societies. No, you know, Let's it's just, about Zimbabwean hey, brothers. Let's just put the disclaimer. Like when I'm walking yeah. and I smell a quapa, I'm like, there's a Zimbabwean here. There's a Zimbabwean. Okay, he continues to go with these stereotypes because he's like, okay, when I'm walking, okay, so I'm walking, so let's get, let's take an example. I'm walking in the streets, in any streets, and maybe someone passes me who's got a bad smell. I would just assume it's a Zimbabwe because he's smelling. That's 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 where everything is wrong about this whatever comedy. That's not comedy to me. That's not comedy. It might be comedy to some people, but to me, that's not comedy. That is stereotyping. And also, I think I think stereotype is okay to a certain level, or you also need to read the environment. You understand? Because in this case, he knows that he's talking to the South African public, to the South African platform. He, uh, he, that he knows that there is some part or there are some South Africans who don't even like anything 
about Zimbabwe, anything about Zimbabwe, whether they're doing good or they're doing good, as long as that they get a Zimbabwe level in English, they don't like that because of certain whatever, I don't understand. Okay, so you need to have that intelligence, you know, okay, this platform belongs to Zero South Africa. If I say this, how, what am I promoting? Is it comedy, is it entertainment, or I'm trying to instill it so that my people, every time my people will be despised, will be dehumanized by the same people you are trying to, to, to please, you understand? So that's, it's so <laughs> concept. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that that's they right. haven't bought or that, that's, that's yeah, how they smell? Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. No, I, I, that's the thing that I don't understand. Because like, it's, it's strong. It's, no, it is a strong... It's strong. Like it's, right. it's not that you don't understand. It's just you are just ignorant. You didn't read at school. You are you are dumb. Because if you had studied any science subject with biology, with sort of biology, we would have known that every human being secretes what is called uh sweat you understand because the body is releasing toxic substance from the body so that's the only way they that substance always smells it's like pee it's it's, it's toxic it's waste body waste that must get out of the body it smells same as feces, everything. It's waste that is leaving the body. So that's the human mechanism. And if a person, anyone in the world, can doesn't bath themselves, they're going to smell. Not only Zimbabwe. So Pungent. 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 Pungent is the word I use. But it's like, what, what, what is it about the region of Zimbabwe Mm. that says we are going to attack your armpits. Oh like, that's God. the thing for me <laughs> that oh I've God. never understood. <laughs> it. it punches you I'm just under the armpit. <laughs> just because I've, I've been around, like, I'm in South Africa right now. Mm. I've never mm. smelled a South African's armpit and felt like, mm -mm. oh, my God. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's Swaziland, Botswana, whatever. Oh, Is it not because it's, it's like, very, very hot? In no. But it's hot. But it's then, the like, it would, it, then it would change if you came. You see the ignorance that people have. Like these guys, they they, they question that they are asking. Like, is it because it's hot in Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe and South Africa they're in the same region. If you have studied geography, you understand that the weather that is mostly in ninety percent part of the climate of ninety percent part of South Africa is the same kind of climate as in Zimbabwe. Maybe except of the Western Cape, which is or its own climate. But most of the climate, they are the same, which means we have the same, mostly the same temperature, the same weather patterns. So going and asking that it's because of the weather shows how ignorant people are like. If people, they don't know anything about Zimbabwe, but they have the right to go and say things that they know, they don't know. You understand? They don't know anything. They've never been there, but they, you know. So it's very unfortunate that they're asking this guy who is also dumb, you know, and he's trying to be funny, but his jokes are dry. He's just spreading stereotypes and trying to to to, to dehumanize his own kind, which which is stupid at the end of the day. In here, would it not? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah. do people eat a lot of um Acha. Acha. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Acha's not a thing, is it? I've it's smelt a, a family like they were <laughs> <laughs> You see what I'm talking about? That's where it goes wrong. Because you can see this lady, she's already now in that position that every time she sees, uh, she she smells someone who's smelling bad, it's going to be a Zimbabwe. There's no way it's going to be a South African, a Malawian, a Congolese, or a, any other nation. It's going to be a Zimbabwe. Because of people like Mr. Kid, because they go on and try to be funny and try to get likes and views and try to try to fit in into the South African community and try to act like... Because they know there are some people who thrive in hating Zimbabwe. And so they know those people, they're going to get support from these people. They're going to get fun from those people. But at the end of the day, you still need your people, you still need your people to back you up. Because when things when things goes hard, it's your people who are gonna back you up. It's your people who are gonna push you up. That's what is forgetting this guy. So for me I don't think it's comedy, it's just pure hatred and from there 
there comes these stereotypes whereby because to be honest why is it we never had, we have never had we have a big community same community in the uk in botswana in namibia but i've never had botswana's saying this thing i've never had uh people in the uk say this thing i've never had namibians Zambian say this thing. it's only here south africa where you hear this so it shows you how the environment is how stereotypical south africa is it's not only zimbabweans who go through that it's the closer ladies there's the stereotype that closer ladies are hoes they they, they they are not faithful they they are hoes they are bitches it's stereotyping and it's really bad because it really puts people down you understand so i think people should learn should like just learn read about these things otherwise they will go around saying things that maybe maybe he doesn't know that it's it's really bad maybe he doesn't know that it also it can hit some people that this thing that he's saying can hit other people maybe it's just ignorant so i think it's not comedy i think it's not funny i think he doesn't have talent because if you have talent you don't need to to do this to get recognition people would have record that recognize you especially even if you were in zimbabwe that oh, okay this guy is funny his talent is a comedy but he's trying too hard to be relevant he's trying too hard to to get people's attention which you know it's just it's gonna be enjoy your two second fame but from there where are you gonna go what are you gonna say about zimbabweans if all this is talks about zimbabwe and what are you gonna say so that's it's actually said that we you see someone hating himself hating where he come from no matter what there's no way you can hate yourself you have to hate yourself you have to love yourself self-hate is dangerous you need to love yourself that's the problem with this guy he hates himself because if he loves himself if he loves being a Zimbabwe he could never say this in a foreign platform but because he doesn't love himself, he doesn't believe that being a Zimbabwean is enough. That's why he's saying what he's saying. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out.